Hey, this is Melanie Mitro, and I am a 15 star diamond team beach body coach. And I'm here today to talk to you about something in my business that I've done that's helped me tremendously organize myself. If you are a beach body coach or just anybody watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you struggle with time management or organizing yourself or keeping your priorities at the top, just like every other human being does. But me being in multiple different locations, meaning sometimes I work at my kitchen table on my computer, sometimes I'm on my iPhone or iPad, or sometimes I'm you know, downstairs in my office on my other computer, I want to have quick access to my documents. And so I have found that Google Documents is a lifesaver. Also, another reason why I love it is that I share documents a lot of times with my team and my customers. And so this allows me to always share the most updated format. So for example, if I make a challenge group guide and I share the Word document with my team, if I make a change to it, I have to go back and re-update all the different places that that file has been shared. If you make it a Google document, every time somebody goes to that document or clicks on that link, they get the most current and up-to-date format. Another really cool, awesome thing about Google Documents is that I can be working on a document and maybe I'm doing a conference call with one of my other coaches and we're brainstorming ideas together. We can be typing in the same Google document at the same time, adding value with each other and working together. So this really truly has been a lifesaver in my business at helping me manage my documents, making them online and easily accessible no matter where I am. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to go and create a Google Plus account. You just go to google.com and you sign in. So you can see right here I have an account across the top. Now if you go to this little um, box right there and you click on this, you want to go down here to your Google Drive. And once you get there, a list of all of your documents is going to come up. If you don't have any documents yet, then this is where you can create one. And all you do is go right over here and you click create and you're going to decide do you want a document like a Word document, do you want a presentation like a PowerPoint, a spreadsheet, an Excel. You can also create a form also if you would like other people to fill out an application. So let's just go with our basic document. So you may have seen me use this especially for my meal plans. So what you want to do is you want to give it a title and whatever you want to name it, that's your title of your document. Then you can go ahead and you can just start typing like a regular document. Then say you want to insert a table because you're going to um, you're going to make what I do my challenge group guide. So maybe I'm going to do two by one, and so I'm going to put day day one preseason, and then you're going to go over here. and you're going to type in the information. Then maybe you want to insert an image. You can pull images right from your computer. Not a problem at all. And you can put it right into your documents. All right, so for example, we now have this document. And so you can do anything like a Word document. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can change the text. Now you want to, to go and share it. So right now it's set to private, only me. I'm the only one that can see it. If you click on share, you can go to who has access and you can change it. So if you want it public to anyone, you can make it public. I don't recommend that. Anyone with the link. So anybody that you share this link with, they can go and see it. And so, or specific people. So this would allow you to type in people's um, email addresses. So I usually do anyone with the link access. Anyone can sign in. So usually I leave it at can view. So if I'm just sending this to people and I want them to be able to just see it and not edit it, because if they edit it, if you allow them to edit it, then it's going to become edited on your end as well. So when I do it this way, I always do can view because they have the option to download it and save it themselves and that makes it edible. If you want to edit it, then you click there and then you hit save. Once you do that, now you're just going to control copy, that control, copies the link, and then you are going to paste it to whoever you want to send it to. So if you want to post this in your team page, you want to share it with your customers or other coaches, this makes it shareable. When you're all done, you just literally click back. This takes you back to your drive, and if you scroll down, there it is, test, and when you open it, 
it comes right back up just the way it was before. This truly makes my life so much easier. So I help, I hope that you find this helpful. I hope that you are able to use this for your business. I do things like organizing my customers and keeping track of my contact list through here. Any of my challenge group guides or scripts that I use for my coaches that I'm using in my coach apprenticeship program. Because all I need to do is copy that link, put it anywhere I need it to go, and it'll always be the most updated format. Hope you find this helpful. Good luck with building your business and have an awesome